so I'm Jessie McLaughlin. I am the fair coordinator here at the Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. One of my favorite and first memories of our fair was as an elementary school student from Pasadena Park, right here in West Valley School District, coming to the fair. The livestock was what I remember the most. The biggest impression, or the thing I do remember the most, is the milking parlor and watching the, the livestock being milked, because I'd never seen that. and it was very memorable obviously because as kids in an inner city kind of situation we don't get to see that. So with the Spokane County Fair and Expo Center being out at the fair itself was not my first job. My first job with Spokane County actually was in the Parks and Recreation Department. Started there when I was uh, first in college actually and got really lucky they would loan me out to the fair each year uh, and then in 93 the secretary uh, left and so 93 was my first fair officially out here. So next year will be my 30th fair. So why I like working at the Fair and Expo Center is I'm a Disney freak and it's the closest thing I think in Spokane to an actual Disneyland. I get to help create memories and magic for families and to me that's really important. It's never been about the paycheck to me. Really when you ask me why I do what I do, I do it because there's that lady out there that's made that quilt and has been working on it for five years and finally gets to come show it. It's also that senior in high school that gets one more chance to show their lamb. And that's why I do what I do. Um, like I said, it's not about the paycheck. It's about something way deeper than that, and it's about the magic. You know, the benefit of working with the fair and the people here is we, be, we are a family. Uh, I, I almost sometimes get choked up when I think about the team that it takes to get to make this the memorable place for everybody to come to, the, the openings, but, but truthfully every year when our vendors come back, you know, we talk about marriages and children and, and what's happened in their lives. When we lose one of them, they truly are part of our fair family and, and I think a lot of people in the community don't understand how close we all become. Um, it's a beautiful thing, it really is, and I know that in working with some of those food vendors out there, when one of them's down and out, the others are gonna rally. We have Spokane Corn Team, you know, that's done such a great job with Rick Clark, but these people are also doing those kind of things, and it's amazing to watch what they can do with each other and for each other. And so I just love my fair family, and that's what they are to me. You know, when you ask that question, our mission statement talks about providing certain opportunities at the fair, uh, it's an, a great place to visit the past, the present, and the future all in one location. You can go out to the steam and gas area and see our past. Uh, but it, what it does is it bridges our urban and our agriculture and it gives that educational opportunity for everyone to come out and see that. It also provides a showcasing opportunity, not only in the livestock, but also with our handicrafts and our home arts, our photography, all of that for that opportunity. It's not about necessarily the ribbon, it's really about the recognition and being able to have your picture on the wall and have other people see it. So that's one of those beautiful things that our fair provides. Um, and it does it in a safe environment for your family to hopefully come out and just really enjoy and focus on, as I pointed out, the magic. And that's part of our mission. Yeah.